You're live. Is it live? It says setting up your meeting for Facebook Live. I don't see anything. It says the meeting is now streaming on Facebook. All right. We are. Hi, everybody. Go ahead, Ralph. Ah, all right. So we're, (laughs) I have to come back to Zoom for a minute. All right. So are we live? Are we going? Yes. All right. Excellent. And we are live. We are live on Facebook. We are Brace Yourself. I am your host, Roseanne Sorrentino. I'm Chris Grando. The, oh, did I say co-host? I don't know. My almost, co-host. Yes, my co-host. All right. I almost like sidekick, but all right. I'll take co-host. <laughs> How do you, you, you are more than a sidekick. <laughs> so we are, we have, it looks like we have uh, people already. We already have like 11 people, it looks like, which is very exciting. Our, um, our biggest yet. Great. Right? So we are here today. We're going to have our great guest, Patricia Blair, who is the organizer of the Islips Feed Southside Hospital Employees. And we are going to talk to her about this very successful endeavor, which is just about a week and two days um, old. Yeah, brand and, new. And uh, it's fantastic stuff that she's doing. So when you, when you guys hear about it, um, hopefully it'll inspire you to do something just like it. Right. Or or help her out, that which would be yeah, even sure. uh, you know better. So, uh, so, Grando, uh, what's up? How you been uh, holding up? Uh, nothing. You know, just a little COVID action going on in the world right now. COVID uh, action. Turning everybody upside down. So, um, mm-hmm. you know, uh, you know, this uh, extra quarantine time <laughs> is going to be uh, quite the challenge for a lot of people. Hopefully, everybody's staying uh, safe and healthy. Yes, yes. Right now, for sure. And a lot of businesses are struggling. And, you know, the people on the front lines, they're struggling. And that's what, you know, Patricia's here to, you know, in a a few minutes to tell you how she's helping those people that are on the front lines. So, uh, yeah, so it's been a crazy, topsy turvy time. It's costing you a fortune because your uh, your wife is redoing the kitchen. (laughs) Yeah, disaster. (laughs) And then, you know, my daughter's in the house. So I'm, I'm totally outnumbered. Yes. One. I don't win a lot. I lose a lot of battles. And you've been banished to the upstairs, I see. <laughs> they threw me upstairs. They don't even want to hear me. Like, no, go. No, be gone. I know. I, I'm probably going to be banished at some point. Um, maybe even to the basement. I'm thinking I might need to set up the basement just like as my little studio so that I don't bother anybody. I need but to get I'm a router sorry. down there because I have the bar down there. I have the wine cell up there. So then I can just, I can sit there and just drink and not a problem. So as yeah. it is. Cheers, by the way. Cheers. Cheers. Here we Cheers. go. Yep. Here we go. Um, I have some exciting news. Go ahead. Talk to me. Um, my 600 pound life uh, contacted me. Oh. I'm going to be uh, starring in their, <laughs> their next season after this quarantine. Fantastic. <laughs> it's, it's bad. <laughs> it's bad. Yeah. There's nothing else to do but, but drink and eat. And drink. Yeah. And, and go for a walk. I go for a walk. Walks. Go for walks. Like humans are not having a good time with this, but dogs are living their best life. Oh, this is they're clearly thing. living their best life. They're pampered, they're spoiled, they walk, they eat, they get to oh. play all day long. Yeah, when this is over, over, everybody's talking about human depression. The dogs are going to be depressed. They're going to be like, what the hell happened to all my humans? Where did exactly. the humans? That's going to be a problem, and the fact that they're probably going to be spiteful and start crapping in the house. Either this, yeah. Should you know? Happen. So, um, yeah, so so that's happening, and um, I just told you I binge-watched The Tiger King. Yes. So I'm just a little I bit more stupid than I was when I started. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I have not watched that yet. We were talking, like, Ozark. I mean, like, now I'm in season three of Ozark. Yeah. Uh, and that's yeah, I'm gonna have to up my game with what I'm watching because I really feel that's a good, like, it makes you feel uncomfortable when you're watching because you know we said something bad is always gonna happen like what's the next bad thing that happens so um that's a good one watch that watch that people it's good watch, watch Ozark yes I have to catch up I'm only on season um two so yeah. I have to Pretty catch up I, hey I have nothing else going on so I guess I can I how, how much I did not know about Facebook like I figured like Ozark would come out and I think it's kind of like HBO, like you get an episode a week. No, it's like the whole season ban at you. Yeah. So it's good um, and bad because when you watch the whole season and then oh. you forget by the time the next season comes out, 
and then you have to rewatch, which is what's my problem now. I think I watched season two. Not really sure. Not really sure. So let's just say hi to some people who have joined. All these people are here. I know they're waiting for Patricia. We're going to bring her on in in uh in about two minutes. We just wanted to make sure that everybody is watching. And uh, it's nice to see so many people. 24, Chris, that's our record. 24 27. people are watching 27. right now. Update, 27 people. 28, 28, this is amazing. Let me, let me apologize. Let me apologize in advance for pretty yeah. much what you're getting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so we're gonna we're gonna bring um, Patricia on now. Is there anything else you want to say? Is there anything else you want to tell us? Share? No. Well, no. I just think everybody, if they want to, just hang around. I'm gonna give you um, the our pepper gets peppered segment. After, gonna yes. be, um, uh, it's a Corona quiz that I made for Roseanne. So she's gonna uh, it's true or false, six question thing. Let's see if she gets a hundred. So you may right, want. Right. I'm not, and I'm not uh, sure to think about it. It's yeah, it's gonna be good. I don't want to put too much pressure on you right now, but. All right. So, so now I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna. I'm gonna uh, unfreeze Patricia's video. I'm gonna unmute her. So Patricia, I think you can hear me. So are, are you ready? Here we are. We're gonna do this. Let's do it. We're gonna unmute her. Ask her to start video, and unmute. What? And there she Hello. Is. Welcome. Yay. <laughs> The my kids want to know how waiting. you could mute me. What? My kids want to know, can you teach them how to mute me? <laughs> no, that's a secret. It's only for me. They okay. can't mute Not at okay. all. So uh, cheers. Do you have your beverage of choice? Cheers. Yes, I do. Thank oh, you. Beautiful. beautiful. All right. I love it. So Patricia, uh, if you don't know me, I reached out to you. And uh, you were kind enough to say, all right, I don't think I can talk for 15 minutes, but I think, uh, I think we'll be fine. So I want to thank you, first of all, for joining us on Brace Yourself. Well, th thank and, you. Thank you. And I want to uh, just take this moment before we talk about all the wonderful thing that you've been doing for the last probably a lot of years, because I know you're very involved, but for this particular thing during our health crisis, to just say thank you for... Um, in a world, I think right now where people are kind of caught up in their own drama and how things are affecting them, you really stepped outside the box and thought about other people and organized this thing in no time. And uh, it's been wildly successful. So um, I think I just want to ask you how you kind of came up with the idea. So I was, um, I troll Facebook all the time. I probably have a very unhealthy obsession with Facebook. Um, and a friend of mine who I do some work with reached out to me last Tuesday and said, they're doing something up for Huntington Hospital. A friend of mine started something, go look at their page. You can do the same thing. And I was attempting to work from home last Tuesday mm -hmm. um, and needed to take a lunch break. So I went online and looked at the um, Huntington Hospital Meals, which is wildly successful. A woman named Teresa Sullivan started that and she is a trailblazer. Um, and I took it from there. Um, asked someone that I know at Southside Hospital, Katie Wojner, um, could she help me out? Was this something that I could do without getting in trouble <laughs> with the hospital with? And, <laughs> and she got back to me in about eight seconds and um, go for it. They love it, see what you can do. Uh, that's nine days ago. I invited some of my friends, some, some, some people I know around town that are incredibly supportive of, of our wonderful community. I invited them. Um, and as of a little while ago, Roseanne, we have 2,300 people in the group. Um, we've raised $28,600. Wow. Um, that's amazing. Thank you. And, if, and the purpose- if you, could, if you could just explain to everybody for those that don't know, um, that it's uh, the Islip Speed, um, the Southside Hospital employees. I don't, I don't know if we even touched on that, but just explain a little bit about what the organization is doing. Sure, thank you, Chris. So we thought, you know, that there's a couple of industries that have been very hard hit because of this health crisis. One is restaurant, and you know, I'll be the first one to go knock on a restaurant door and ask for a donation for some event that I. I'm involved in. Um, so why wouldn't we partner with our local restaurants, hire them, ask them to provide food for a hundred at a time. 
and pay them with money that we're able to raise from the community. Yeah, um, it's like killing two birds with one stone. It's a brilliant, brilliant idea. Yeah, and, and these people, I, the, the restaurants have been so generous and a lot of them were doing it before we even got involved. And now I think, you know, they're, they're feeling the love from the community and they're a little grateful that maybe they're covering some of their food costs. Um, and meantime, our, our frontline people are, are getting fed. They're getting nourishing food. They're feeling the love from the community because I have nothing but awe and respect for them. And I, I, I God bless them all. Absolutely. I, I understand that, um, you know, I know some people who either work at Southside or know people who work there and the, the stress level is just off the charts. They, so they don't even have time sometimes to, you know, use the restroom or, or they're so busy taking care of people uh, that are just funneling into the hospital. So it's really just such an amazing thing that you um, took this on because, you know, you are, you are an attorney. Yes. So you have a very busy practice, I'm sure. Yes. You are uh, involved with FTK for the kids, which is through the East High Slip School District. Yes. You are the president? Yes, I am. You are. So, and those, the FTK, they do tons of things for the kids, uh, galas and fundraising and carnivals. And so that's just constant planning all the time. So for you to take more time and do this is, uh, it's just a really amazingly wonderful thing. Well, thank you, Rosie. And I, I think though, and as my husband, Doug and I try and tell our, our, our kids, we are all tasked with helping each other. And if we cannot help each other, you know, somebody has to, and the government's doing a, I, I think actually a pretty good job. There's so many things, it's so fast moving. It's nothing we've ever experienced before in our lifetime. And we need to reach out. And if in some small way, creating this group and spending a couple of hours getting restaurants involved is helping other people Easy, easy, making it a little easier for, for them. It's certainly worthwhile doing. Thank you for the kind words, though. Well, you're That's welcome. Awesome. You're very welcome. Pat, if, Pat, if I can just, uh, bro, I'm going to jump in one second. If, go ahead, go ahead. If, um, if people want to get involved, um, Patricia, where, how do they do it? Um, and then after that, maybe you can give a shout out to some of the restaurants that have really stepped up to the plate that you've gone to. So whoever's watching can, you know, um, either donate to the cause. I know you can do it probably right through your Facebook page, but why don't you go ahead and explain that a little bit. So inside it's the uh, Facebook group. It's a public group. It's called the Ice Lips Feed the Southside Hospital Employees. You can look that up. If you need approval to get in, it will be granted instantly. Um, and in there, the first um, pin post is the Venmo page. Um, and that's how we're accepting donations. Um, it's an easy address to Venmo. Um, so that, that would be great if people wanted to hit up that Venmo. Um, the restaurants that we have been involved with, so wonderful. The three right off the top of my head is Anthony from AJ's Gourmet Grilled Cheese because he walked me through the first day. Like, you could do this. Here's how you do Venmo and everything. Um, Venmo. Bobby and Mary Finn from uh, Mulberry Street in East Islip. Stephen Mahood from the Irish Coffee Pub, um, the Bolson Restaurant Group, Lessings Hospitality. Um, Anthony from Dang Barbecue is just, he, he donates so much to the local community, it's incredible. I have a list of about 30 restaurants. I don't know that you want me to read them. But, uh, listen, you um, know, they, they deserve a shout out for sure. And I'm sure maybe they're listed on your site, but they certainly deserve it. It's, um, you know, keep, keeping them afloat is also equally important, keeping small businesses alive, you know, to, you know, to get through these next few weeks, hopefully uh, within a month is super important. So um, yeah, whoever you want to give a shout out to. So I, I, I updated the group. I tell them, you know, the uh, incredible amount of trust and respect going on in the Facebook group. And I updated them about an hour ago. And here's the list of our restaurants. It's AJ's Gourmet Grilled Cheese, Amore Pizza, Bagel Biz, Blaze Pizza, Blue Restaurant, Bubba's Burrito Bar, Chitty's Cheese Steaks, Cornerstone Deli, Crispino's Pizza, Dang Barbecue, Del Fuego, 
Edible Arrangements, Flanagan's Club, Francisco's Trattoria, I'm Irish, that didn't come out too good, <laughs> Geo's, Grilly's Gourmet Deli, Hometown Cafe, The Irish Coffee Pub, Kayla's Confections, Kilwin's Ice Cream, Laugh Love Cupcakes, Les Lessing's Hospitality, Lily Flanagan's Restaurant Group, The Lion's Den, Local Burger, Made From Scratch, Menino's, Mary's Pizza and Pasta, Napa Tandy's, Mickey's Clam Bar, Pat's Market, Piccolo Busso, again, the Irish translation, <laughs> Riley <laughs> Fibbers, Route 21 Pizza, Soul Bowl Islip, The Tap Room, Tula Kitchen, The Village Idiot Pub of Oakdale, and Vinnie's Mulberry Street. Just amazing restaurants and amazing people that run those restaurants. Yeah, that's an impressive list. And, uh, you know, um, those restaurants should be proud that you're doing this kind of work to keep them afloat. And uh, I urge everybody who's watching, you know, frequent those people, go on this site. And yes. But it's uh, what a cause. Great, great stuff. That's amazing. That's fantastic. Um, I'm very, uh, very proud to be part of the Islips. You know, I, I lived in, in East Islip for about 20 years. My kids went to East Islip. And I recently um, downsized and moved to Islip. So, um, you know, it's really nice to be a part of a community that, that steps up and, and gets together and does this. And, um, you know, it makes me really proud to, to see that we're pulling together in a time that's been, it's been tough. Listen, you know, we're on what week, almost week three now. Yeah. And nerves yes. are frazzled. People are getting on each other's nerves. Um, you're bored. You know, you don't know what to do with yourself. You're trying to figure it out. So, so good for you for, um, for doing this. And, and I, do you have a timeline? Uh, is it as long as this quarantine is on? I know that you secured some meals for the holidays coming up. We were able to, um, actually the Lessings Hospitality Group stepped up for Easter Sunday because most restaurants are closed. Mm -hmm. um, so big, big shout out to them. They've been a pleasure to deal with. Um, we have, I have been able to book restaurants through Friday, April 17th. So we deliver twice a day, noon and 8 PM. And as long as we get additional funding, we will continue this, um, along with the restaurants, we throw in some fruit, edible arrangements and some cupcakes, cream, some confections, ice yeah, some ice chocolate and ice cream. They, they need it all. So we're going right. to throw in what we can. Absolutely. Well, that's great. I am. I'm going to share your uh, your Venmo information and the page and everything on my Facebook page, so that uh, everybody out there, if you haven't um, gotten involved yet and you would like to, I will post that on my page. And again, you can go to the page, uh, the Islip Speed, the Southside Hospital Employees, which I am sure they are extremely appreciative of your efforts. And uh, you know, it's it's. It, just what, what is one day? What do you have to do in one day? What does one day look like to get this up and moving? Well, we, we started the group. I wanted to see if, if, you know, if I could take off and if I got a thousand dollars, I knew we could feed. First, they asked us to feed 50 people at a time. And I knew we could do that. Um, and then the group just kind of took off. And every time we post pictures of food. I, I have hundreds of pictures of food on my phone now. So in a couple of years, I'm hopefully I'm gonna go, well, the, you know, the producers of the 600 pound wife, whatever came to you too, Pablo. <laughs> so I have all these pictures of food. Um, and, and that first day it really took off. I think we had 250 people. And, and again, I'm, I'm relatively active on Facebook. I like to, to, to focus on the positive and the good things that happen in our community. We also have another Facebook page, Positively East Islip. We mm -hmm. started that about two years ago, um, just to, to highlight all the great things that the, the students in the community do and the community members, um, because you know East Islip, Islip Terrace, Islip, Great River, very involved, very passionate people. Mm -hmm. So once we hit 250, you know, I knew it would work and we started contacting restaurants. Can you help me? What can you do? This is my price point. Everybody helped, everybody, you know, they're not making money on this. They, they are trying to cover their costs and maybe pay some employees. Um, so it's a win-win again for all of us. And I'm very blessed to be doing this. Thank you. Well, that's great. And we will, as soon as this is uh, 
hopefully uh, this whole situation will be a thing of the past soon. We'll be able to go out and frequent those restaurants and, uh, you know, show the show a little love back yeah, to all of them. Yes. All people that are contributing to such a worthy cause. It's, all, it's good stuff. Yes. Well, Patricia, thank you so much. I really do appreciate you taking the time out to um, to meet with us and to talk to us and to share it. It's uh, people like you that make a community great. Thank and, you. Uh, you know, thank you for your efforts. You know, sometimes there are leaders and then there are people who, who follow those leaders and help them. You are truly a leader in the community and, and I appreciate all of your efforts. Thank you very much, Rosie. And Chris, thank you very much. Thank you for giving me this little time tonight. Yeah. Be well, be safe. Well deserved, you too. Thank you. All righty, take care. Bye. Bye. Well, that was awesome. That was amazing. That was amazing that she can do that. Yeah, it's a lot of work, you know, and then, you know, it's not like, you know, she, I know she says knocking on doors, but she's making phone calls all the time. It's not like, you, can, you know, just bust into these restaurants and a lot of them are opening up, um, you know, only for dinners and stuff like that. So right. it's gotta be hard to try to coordinate all that. And then, um, you know, it's one thing getting everybody to do it. Who, what day is doing what, who's going where, and then what's your connection then? How do you get to that hospital and then how do you do it? It's a big task. Oh yeah, constantly being on the phone and trying to organize it and, and just asking restaurants to do it uh, as it is, you know, you have to, uh, it's a lot of work. So very impressive, very, yeah, very impressive. Her, um, her Facebook page is, um, you know, her personal one is uh, all messages about positivity and hope and faith and prayer and, you know, uh, the world needs more uh, good people like that, for sure. And then I think you're seeing that in this community, for sure, and the surrounding communities um, that everybody's got to try to pull together during this this uh, nightmare time. So, yeah, this is because this is just I mean, uh, you know, now we're all we're all kind of getting into the swing of thing of, of this distance learning. Um, I know my daughter just started again. School, you know, okay. Portland started for her. So she's been zooming and she's been on on all sorts of um back. Back. <laughs> sorry 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 <laughs> pat, we're talking about you we we're talking about you pat yeah. um we'll go uh, we'll go with the tri host why not let's let's roll that's funny so um you know so it's been it's been a, a huge adjustment and and it's been difficult i know i know that um yeah, Chris is, you know, it's, it's funny because Chris is back and um, he's taking classes out in Arizona and the class, you know, is three hours behind. So it starts at, you know, six and goes to nine there, goes from nine to midnight here. Oh, so, he's home? Yeah, he's, he's home. He's oh, home. wow. Okay. Actually, um, he's, you know, quarantining in New Jersey for uh, 14 days. Um, but then he'll be back. He'll be back. So, uh, okay. so but that, that, that learning thing, is difficult. I know, um, you know, Michelle's trying to do, do the learning from home and, and you know, be a, uh, a teacher to the kids and who's answering, who's not. Um, it's, a, it's, it's a challenge. It's a challenge for sure. So. It is. And, and then you add on the, the kids who aren't logging in and you can't get in touch with anybody and the phone number isn't right. And, and you're on the phone trying to contact parents and um, you don't want these kids to fall, fall behind, you know, because we don't know how long this is going to last. So, um, so it's what a lot think, of, it's a lot of uh, Are they going to end the school year? You know, are they going to cut it short? Are they going to extend it? Are you going to, like, what's the, how yeah. are they going to do it? I think they're taking it on a two week by two week basis to sort of see. I mean, if you watch the news, it says we haven't even really hit the peak. Oh, if you don't of, watch the news, we're all dead. Of this yet. <laughs> And then I, I heard something where they were talking about uh, continuing the social distancing through June. Well, if you're gonna do that, you can't throw thousands of kids back into a school building. They'll be on top I, of each other. Be very, like, how are we gonna go to the comedy club and watch you if I have to social distance? I know, I know, that's uh, another thing. Yeah, like sporting events, how you, what are you gonna do? Just put one person every six feet? It's, that's a disaster, it's a disaster. They're going to have to come up. Yeah, goodbye, Nazis. Well, look, look at it this way. They're in first place for a long time right now. 
it's probably the only good thing to come out of it, you know? Is it not the last place? Yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, look, we have 26 people still watching now. Right, yeah. Patricia signed off, so that's that's pretty impressive. Yeah, that's good. Um, now 25. Hold on. Don't, where are you going? All right, don't go anywhere. Don't go. Oh, 24. That's I should have said going to get peppered in a minute. <laughs> Let me relax. They're all Pat's friends going, all right, I'm done with these people now. Yeah, I'm done. So, um, yeah, I'm going to share all that information on my Facebook page uh, if you want to get involved. Um, You're to, thinking at this point I should get Venmo? Huh? Should I get Venmo at this point? Yes. I you just, have to get Venmo. Like, it, it makes everybody like life easier. Like, I feel old. I'm like, what's Venmo? What's Venmo? It, it, Chris, it makes everybody's life easier. Like I wanna, when, when you get your merchandise and you sell your DCRP stuff, instead of me walking around with two twenties, like it's, you know, 1986, I can just be like, here, Chris, I'm gonna Venmo you. You make me care like, so long ago, 1986. Well, <laughs> By the way, in 1986, you weren't walking around with 40 bucks. 20 maybe. No, I, I was graduating high school. I had money. All right, take it easy. I had a job, man, come on. I worked. Um, Jane's watch. Jane, you have no wine. Jane has no wine. Jane, get thee to a liquor store. Jane. I, that sentence does not even compute during a pandemic. No. I have no wine. Yeah, that's called totally unprepared. Yeah, really. I'm. I'm. Jane, to say I'm disappointed in you is an understatement. Yes, yeah, not good. This is terrible. <laughs> no bueno. I actually went into. I, I like to go to. Um, the wine and liquor depot on 111. Neil owns it. Yeah, yeah, I know you're talking about. And when this first started, you know, we didn't really know what were um, what the essential businesses were going to be. So I walk in one day and I've got my I go, listen, take my number. If you get a heads up that this has to shut down, I need to know. <laughs> and he wrote it down. He's got my number. Here's my number. Here's my address. Do the liquor stores deliver? Some of them do. So how do you go ahead, like when you go into, I haven't been into the liquor store yet. I just, I haven't had the need yet. Well, you, on, it's getting close. It's getting close. Well, you could do curbside. Uh, Neil also delivers. Right. And you could do curbside where you call That's ahead what? and you put your order in. Right. You know, but, but to me, like a liquor store is kind of like a library. I like to touch the bottles. I like to read the labels. Right. Like just no shopping, like walking around Costco, like, oh. Oh, that looks good. Let's oh, let's I want it. the Baileys. Well, the Baileys would go good with that. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, when fireball. I was... What? I said fireball for DCRP. You could go fireball. shop. That's it. Big, big car, it. walk around. Fun. They have little, um, they have little packages of fireball, like this big, like yes, packages. I didn't buy it though, because I need to prioritize. <laughs> yeah, you got to go times. Fun. But Tough wine is your, like, if you went to liquor, like, what would be your liquor? Uh, vodka or tequila. So you're a vodka. I'm, I always stick with the clear. I like the clear. Yeah. I like vodka, but I'm also a fan of the, the margarita. <laughs> the real margarita, not the sour mix. Oh, yeah. No. The real thing. Or, or a gimlet, because apparently I'm 90. <laughs> what, you're making, you're what, just mixing up a Tom Collins? I'm just a gimlet. I'm just mixing up vodka and roses lime juice. Like, I didn't even know that had a name. Yeah, yeah, it's a gimlet. I, I've been in the restaurant business forever. It's it's from the twenties, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Manhattan, Rob Royce, all that good stuff. I'm not really sure. So, all right. So, um, you want to get now, pepper? Now Jane is calling to check oh. about shopping for wine. I've shamed her into uh, going wine shopping because that's that's what I do. And Jackie says the liquor store is a candy store. <laughs> yeah, 100%. <laughs> uh, and just think, no DWI because the police don't want to get out of the car. Jackie, I don't really, I don't know about that, but. <laughs> well, if you're going to, if you're going to suggest a wine to get in the wine store, tell Jane, like, this is what you should, you should be getting this. Like, what would yeah. be your wine of choice? Jane, Show what you've got now. How about a Chianti Classico, which That's is nice. lovely. This is lovely. Damn. For the price point, uh, you know, it's no uh, Camus. <laughs> yeah, no. no. No, it's not. I know that. But it does the job. It does the, I, I have another Napa. This is Frog's Leap. Frog's Leap. Another Napa Valley. Now, is Stag's Leap Napa Valley also? Yeah. So are they the same vineyard or different? No, different vineyards from different all vineyards. over the regions. 
yeah. One's a frog, one's a stag. The frog, yeah, the stag. All right. All hey, right. Pepper, you want to get peppered? You want it? I just... do. I, I, I explain to everybody what this is for those of, uh, people who who weren't in here earlier don't know what's happening. Well, everybody knows that Roseanne was Pepper in Annie. So Pepper gets peppered is where I, I'm going to ask a series of questions. We've done this before. But yes. this is going to be um, kind of like uh, like a current event uh, Corona quiz. This is what we're calling this. Okay? okay. So these are all true or, true or false questions. All right. And I can't think. I just have to. No, you can. Listen, I you can think. think. Listen, this okay. these are not super hard. These are not, you know, I'm not asking you to, you know. Oh, I hate tests. Hydro, you know. Water. All right. All right. You ready? Here's the first question. <laughs> Hold on. All right. A dog can give you COVID-19, true or false? False. That is correct. Your dog cannot give you. Good, because we are kissing on the mouth all the time, me and the dog. It just happens. I can't stop it. I mean, I can stop it, but I can't stop her. She just loves me. So, that, so you don't have to worry about social distancing with That's your Good, dog. because there's no such thing as social distancing with Lola. Okay, you ready? Next one. I'm ready. Hand washing should last for four minutes to be effective. False. That is also false. You are correct. Do you 20 know what? seconds. You can sing The Sun Will Come Out tomorrow. Or you can sing Happy Birthday twice. All right, and so if you were washing your hands, what's, what's the song? Go ahead. What's Pretend the you're washing song? Your hands. Sing the song right now, 20 seconds. Oh, I'll, I'll sing, well, first of all, uh, the proper way, right? So, and you, you, this, The Sun Will Come Out tomorrow, and autumn will tell that on the tops. Tomorrow there'll be sun. Don't, and then you got to get the fingertips like this, right? And then the, the, the opposable thumbs, you don't want to forget them. And then this, this, yeah, and then you rinse. So many jokes, so little time. So um, little time, don't forget the thumbs. Don't forget the thumbs. <laughs> All right. Um, All right, I'm two for two. Safe social distancing is six feet. True. That is true, you are correct. See, I told you it's not difficult. It's kind of like, this is, you, you've done very well. So far, you're scoring 100. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. Okay, this one. The coronavirus originated in the Puntang province in China. The, what province? The Puntang province in China. No. No, that is false. It was the Wuhan. <laughs> oh. You're right. It is false. I made that up. You did. <laughs> I just found that funny. Why I thought that was funny, I don't know. That was that was funny. That was funny. I All had right. it for a minute. Okay, so we were talking about liquor. So so far, you're you're doing pretty good. You're four for four. Okay. Tito vodka can kill the virus if used as hand sanitizer. False. You're right. You cannot use it. And do you know why? It's not enough alcohol. That's right. It's only forty percent. So all you people using Tito's to you're wash your hands, good, and do the whole you're wasting good thing. vodka. Yeah. No. So yeah. Um, you need you need alcohol that's sixty percent. Sixty. And yes. Then say so you can take that isopropyl and then mix that with aloe, and you can kind of create your own. Uh, create your own, or you could just wash your hands and yes. don't forget the thumbs. Right. Okay. Um, N95 masks should be worn only if you are sick or hideous looking. <laughs> Both true. <laughs> um, wait a minute. <clears throat> I answered that one. No, you that, made that. that one's rhetorical. We knew the answer. We knew the answer. Very well. You scored 100. I did score 100. It's See? my first 100 in a really long time. That's pretty exciting. Oh, excellent. That's pretty exciting. All yeah. right, pepper got peppered and you, and you passed. And I passed. All yep. right, so so that's going to be our little uh, our thing. We want to try to make that like a little bit of a segment. All right, I like it. With like a theme music, something with pepper. You know, we got a lot of Annie stuff we can work with. Good. Well, yeah. I have some I have some homework to do because I, I we need to we need to up this game a little bit, right? We need yeah, to, to uh, graphic a little bit. Yeah, yeah, we need to do that. So. Um, all right, we're down to 16 people. Oh, I'm sorry about the boom tag thing. It was, was that, I, I, that I, I had to do it. I don't know. That might have that might have done it. 
So uh, it doesn't matter. It, the shows brace yourself. Yeah, really brace yourself because you don't know what's happening. G. What? PG. We're not rated G and PG. No, good God, no. That would be boring. That would be boring. Um, so I'm going to take another sip. Yeah, do it. I've been drinking all the way. Oh my God. Um, yeah, I'm going to need like a that, cool spin dry after. My business. I'm going to tell you with my business. So I actually had to lay off a boatload of guys because construction, they deemed it um, not essential. Um, some jobs are hospitals and, uh, you know, um, right. some offices and, and, you know, you know, transportation hubs, that stuff. So I have like a handful of guys working. So that's a real grind to, um, you know, a lot of the guys out there and ladies that, that work for me. And uh, that's kind of like rippling through. Um, everybody's kind of affected by this. So now, uh, let me ask you a question about that. So yeah. you laid them off? Or yeah, laid them off because, you know, um, it gives Do they get unemployment if they're laid off? That's correct. So if you fire them, they can't, they can't. And then, you know, if you furlough them, you know, you don't want to bring a guy back in for a couple of days, then he loses the opportunity. But I will tell you that the um, small business administration with the loans, if you can um, figure out that, get that application in, uh, be able to put those people back on the payroll um, is something I'm kind of exploring right now. And those going tomorrow, and hopefully we can get back up and running where you know, at least I can take care of, of the people in the government, apparently with this uh, relief, the loan relief, um, we'll pay the companies back. And- um, Oh, that's good, okay. Keep those people employed, you know, it's, it's a good way to keep everybody employed. Um, so anybody who has a small business under 500 people, I suggest you look into that. You know, try to keep your people working. It's, uh, it's gonna be vital um, for everybody to survive. So it's nice that we're all, uh, you know, sitting home making jokes, but, you know, the reality is that people need money. You got to pay your rent. You got to, you know, you got to pay your bills. You got to, there's a million things to do. So, um, you know, for that stuff, I mean, those apps go in tomorrow and hopefully the government, like Patty said, I, I think they're doing a, they're trying to do the best they can to get in front of this. Um, but it's new for everybody. So. Yeah. And, and just, um, you know, um, to, to talk real quick about the people who have either lost their jobs completely have been laid off or furloughed and still have families. Um, like you said, yeah, we, we, we're laughing and it's brace yourself and we're having a good time. But, but the serious part is that there are a lot of people who are in a tough predicament right now. And so, um, you know, you keep them in your thoughts, keep them in your prayers, whatever it is that you, you do to help wish people, you know, well and, and whatnot. But if, um, you know, anybody comes up with an idea of how we can help people, you know, let me know. I'm willing to hear it. You know, it's, I think about people in, in my own district right now, uh, bus drivers and, and monitors and security, uh, crossing guards, you know, these people are not working. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're not working right now. So, and, and it's, it's tough. It's tough on a community. It's tough on your, your, your life. Thank goodness. The, um, banks yep. are going easy on mortgage payments and landlords are supposed to be uh, going easy on people with their rent if, if they lose their jobs during this. So I hope that um, they're doing that. <laughs> yeah, well, you hope that, you know, people like Patricia can um, inspire other people to do kind things for everybody, especially when we need it now. Yeah. As divided as we are as a country, it's, it's time to, you know, Kind of pull everything together and just get through this and then uh you know we can fight in, in five months but uh for now it's kind of important that everybody kind of pitch in and do their their share exactly you know, whatever you can um if you know somebody who's struggling you know people are going through depressions and uh it's 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 been a hard it's been a hard journey for these just what for what a couple of weeks now so a couple of weeks yeah yeah we got to go through this for you know the rest of the month we're just we're just starting so yeah and, and I, you know, it's funny because um, I think the kids are, are still a little bit on a, on a high. They're like, no, we don't miss school. This is great. But, you know, there are some kids uh, through the online platforms and stuff that we've heard from who have said, I miss school. I want to be in school. Yeah. Like they miss their teachers. They miss their friends. They miss their structure. They miss all of it, you know? 
And uh, actually, I do just want to give a shout out to the um, food service people in all the schools who are going in every day and preparing food so that families um, get breakfast and lunch for their families, which is, is a really awesome thing. So because that's a, it's a real need too, you know, so that's, that's a great thing. And um, yeah, it's just tough. So if, if we can make you laugh a little bit and take your mind off of it for what, what have we been doing this for what? 39 minutes. 35 minutes. So if we can give you a reason to laugh and, and um, share a beverage with you during a, a pandemic, sure. you know, cheers. Um, Jackie has a, a fabulous margarita, I think. Tequila blue agave and fresh lime. Yeah, man. Nice. That'll do okay. it. Looks like I'm going back to the liquor store. <laughs> well, they're not going out of business. <laughs> they're gonna, they'll get you through this time period. They'll get me through. They take very good care of me. It's not even funny. Um, Mr. Grando, I, I just want to go, I, you know, I, I'm, lo I'm loving this. Yeah, it's fun. I, I, I dig it. I'm getting a little more comfortable. Trying you're, to work here. You're, you're a swell, you're a swell co-host. I have to say. Thank you. You're swell. Thanks. Holly G. <laughs> well heard. Thanks, bro. Thanks, Rosie. No problem. So, all right, folks. Well, that is it for this um, edition of this, Brace this, Yourself. This, this edition of Brace Yourself. This will be on YouTube along with all of the other um, the other editions. If you would not mind to please subscribe to my YouTube page and and like the videos and share them and and talk about Brace Yourself. Uh, that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you all for tuning in tonight. Thank you to my guest, our guest, Patricia Blair. Again, the Ice Lip Speed, the Southside Hospital Employees. I'm going to be posting her Venmo and the whole page on my page, sharing it with you. So if you'd like to get involved and you'd like to help out, it's a great cause. Uh, Mr. Grando, last words. Everybody stay safe, stay healthy, social distance, wash your hands. and. Uh... We'll talk to you next week. All right. All Sounds right. great. Good night, everyone. Good night.